And, you know, there's a few things I really want to get to. But first and foremost, everybody check out National Wrestling Alliance on YouTube, on Fight, on Twitter. Uh, where else can they see National Wrestling Alliance content? Well, that that's where we are right now. And, you know, we, we love being on Fight. They've been a great partner with us, especially as a pay-per-view provider, but also through our subscription service, you know, uh, giving people early access to uh, NWA power and then, you know, people being able to catch those replays on YouTube. Uh, but we also have seen an enormous growth on our YouTube channel uh, as well. So there's definitely a lot of people out there that are still interested in the NWA and, and they're sharing it, which is so important these days, especially when you're going to be on a on an internet broadcast platform, you know, you, so you have to be able to have that. And um, it's exciting to see that, that we're growing and, and look at all those strides that we're able to make and uh, the revenue we're able to bring in uh, at the end of the day. I mean, you can't run a company uh, in, in the red for very long. And it's great that we're not, we're in a position where we're making money and we're filling up these arenas and, we can, you know, afford to get some, you know, nicer things to add to the accoutrement and maybe bring in some new talent and sign talent to longer talent agreements and things like that. So it's great seeing the success that we're having right now. I think the the cornerstone of that is our fans. And the other major part of that is, you know, the, the core group of people that have dedicated their lives uh, to making the NWA successful every single day. People like Billy Corgan, of course, uh Kyle Davis, Pat Kenny, head of talent relations, and myself. Uh, along with, you know, a lot of other people that, you know, are pretty consistent. Gary Horn working on our social media team. Um, Diana as well. And there's there's a lot of different people out there I could name drop all day of our core group that's constantly working to make uh the NWA a success. And I think our dedication is paying off at this point. And you could see that in just the announcements being made today that we're, you know, going international. No, no, that's fantastic. And you brought up an interesting point because Billy Corgan is definitely the 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 head figure for the National mm-hmm. Wrestling Alliance. But obviously it takes a village for things to become a success. What is your role? Because a lot of people might just know your role as the commentator, the play-by-play commentator that does a great job week in and week out. What is your current role and has that evolved from the beginning? Oh, yeah, it definitely has. Um, you know, uh, it's interesting you brought that up because of, for – just until, up until a few weeks ago, I never really had a title, and it really wasn't important to me. Uh, in in wrestling parlance, you just want to be in the office. You know, I'm I'm in the office. I'm part of the office, uh, and so that was fine with me. But I guess you know when we start doing these other things and we start reaching out to different uh, entities out there as far as production and broadcasting and different things like you, you need to have a title at the bottom of your signature on an email. So I. At this point, I am the COO of the National Wrestling Alliance, so Chief Operations Officer. Uh, so it's interesting that I'm an executive, which is always fun. Um, you know, when I first started on in this role, I would just tell people I was an EVP because most wrestling people get that because of the position that the Bucks and Omega have or had, or I don't know what it really is. In Whatever that is. <laughs> Whatever it is right now. But at least people understood it. Um, so that's my official title. And then so like every day is... Um, Answering emails, doing Zoom calls, uh, making deals, uh, booking venues. um, And it's kind of a whole different thing there of doing that. And then on top of that, also, you know, merging into the music realm of the Billy Corgan universe and being a co-host for um, 33 with William Patrick Corgan, which is the the podcast that we do weekly uh, that features a, a world premiere of a new Smashing Pumpkin song every week, which is part of their new concept album, Autumn. Uh, so if you're a music fan, I, I urge you to check it out because it's pretty cool. And so th- it's just, it's a lot. 